It's the Kratky method in four minutes or less. Guys, I'm here to show you one of the easiest methods of hydroponics and a way to get started. It's called the Kratky method. It uses a ball mason jar or other type of a glass plastic jar, one that preferably doesn't let light in. It's easy to set up. You can add bubblers, but for now, we're going to make it easy. Please like, subscribe, get ready. Four minutes or less. It's the Kratky method. All right, as you're looking here, I've got all my supplies there. Again, many of which you will find in your kitchen. Got a measuring cup, ball, wide mouth jars, some post notes. Um, these net cups are great. These are the three inch version that I use on everything. They're easy to transport and they're versatile. Uh, some clay pebbles or other type of medium to keep the um, uh, your seed in germinating everything safe and secure in there. And then just a ball, wide mouth mason jar. And uh, these are available in a ton of different sizes. We use Hobby Lobby here locally. They're usually on sale and they've got them in just about every shape and size you can imagine, which is great as the roots grow. And uh, gloves, guys, I highly suggest those. I apologize I did not wear them for the remainder of the video. I had to shoot this over and um, I normally do wear those. So please try to wear the gloves. Um, some of these mediums, you just don't know what's in them. And uh, it's just better to keep everything secure. Uh, on those ball mason jars, I like how they also have the uh, measurements on the side. So if you're a very, very retentive person, you can uh, make sure to fill those exact. Um, I'm just showing there about where I like to fill those up, where those net cups will sit in there. And uh, once they'll uh, sit there secure, they'll make sure that the uh, uh, rock wool will stay wet, uh, keeping that seed germinating, and then eventually give a good root system to uh, fall out the bottom. So there's those rock wool. They come in a big pack for like $6 on Amazon. Um, they are terrible about breaking off. So you see that extra piece I've got back there. A pair of tweezers and a little pin for the hole. I like to throw that rock wool into my water. Um, a lot of people use distilled water, tap water. I think it's just really whatever you guys want to do. Uh, I use my pH water already because, well, it's already there. I uh, let that rock wool soak and uh, along with that other second piece there just to get it nice and wet for, uh, for a piece I'm going to tear off. I take that rock wool, take that pin, get the tip of it wet, and hold it securely in your hand. Give some pressure around the edge. Again, please be wearing gloves when you're doing this. Keep a little bit of pressure to keep the rock wool from uh, splitting on the sides. Making sure it's nice and wet helps too. You'll get a nice little hole there, making sure not to poke through the bottom. Grab a pair of tweezers. I like to make sure I disinfect those with alcohol before every time. Grab your seed with the uh, little root sticking out, and uh, that root's going to go towards the bottom with the seed head facing up. Take it down in there, put it about a half inch in. I take my pin, uh, make sure just to put it down there just a smidgen. And uh, then I take that extra piece of rock wool, tear a little piece off, make sure it's nice and wet. And then I shove it in that little hole there and uh, do that. Just uh, one or two pieces will make sure that uh, covers that seed up to finish germinating. And uh, it'll grow through and pop out nice and easy when it's ready. Get that all sealed up. It looks nice as uh, new and it's ready to go. I'm going to take those uh, clay pebbles there. I like to make sure those are wet. Um, I pre-soaked them before, but you can use your uh, water as I'm doing there and just kind of rinse it through, get them wet. Go back and forth a couple times or soak them, just whatever's easiest for you. Shake it down to where you're leaving just a little bit of a, uh, a foundation there. I usually say about enough to almost come up to the first line of the net cup. And enough to where that rock will sit just below the top of the net cup of there. Get your pebbles in. Again, guys, please wear gloves when you're doing this. Those things are gross. And uh, just put them down in there nice and good. Once everything's ready to go, put it in your appropriate ball mason jar or other type of uh, jar that you're going to be using. Make sure that water line hits about the uh, middle of that, that uh, rock wool, and it'll keep everything nice and uh, nice and wet. Again, thanks for uh, visiting, guys. Please like and subscribe. I uh, hope to see you next video uh, coming soon. Thank you, guys.